Hey everybody, I uh, hope you guys are doing well, hope you had a great weekend. Um, as you can see, if you're here in class, I'm, I'm not here today, I had to go to the eye doctor. Uh, so that's where I'm at while you're doing this. Um, anyway, I wanted to go over just a few things and make sure we were all set and squared away. First things first, when we have a substitute, make sure you're, you're as respectful as possible, um, that you do your work, um, you're expected, expected to get things done. So there will be plenty for you to do. Um, make sure that you're on top of it and you do a good job. Okay, second of all, um, I just wanted to, uh, today is the first day of the third trimester. We are, are two-thirds of the way finished with our school year, which is, which is totally crazy. It's been a school year unlike any other, okay? Uh, it's, it's been an interesting school year with the whole COVID thing, um, but I'm proud of you guys. You guys are doing a great job. And uh, we just need to keep pushing, okay? Before you know it, it will be May, and the grass will be green, and, and the sunshine will be out. Um, and we'll be pushing towards the end of, of, uh, of our school year. So make sure that you guys are on top of things, that you're doing a great job that way. And, uh, and uh, let's, let's finish out the right way, okay? Okay, um, getting started today, today's lesson uh, this is for February 22nd, uh, 2021, okay? Um, the do now is the word imaginary. Uh, I need to write this down really quick, but you can see it as you, you know, you can kind of look at it, read it. One example um, of an imaginary animal or creature from a book or movie is blank, okay? That will be your do now for today, okay? Um, imaginary means kind of a make-believe creature, right? Not, not a real creature. It's nothing, it's, it's you know, it's not a, a factual creature. It's, it's something that is made up, okay? So that will be your do now. Um, let's look at our vocab right here for, we've got reach. To blank somewhere or blank something, okay? Uh, how long does it take you to reach school? Okay, so to, to get somewhere or probably like to me it means like to grab something. You can reach out with your hand. Okay, how long does it take you to reach school from home in the morning? It takes me about blank to reach school from my home in the morning. Let's see what their responses were with that. To arrive somewhere or attain something. So instead of grab, they, they use the word attain, A-T-T-A-I-N, okay? All right, now let's look at the word necessary. I'll just leave the, leave the answers up here. Needed to complete something, okay? That is, that is what necessary means, okay? So a pencil is needed to complete your math homework, okay? A computer is needed to complete your Read 180 daily assignments, okay? All right, so what is necessary to help you feel your best? It is necessary for me, here he is saying, to get a good night's rest, um, and I'm yawning. Okay, it is necessary for me. What what is it? What is necessary for you to feel really good? Um, for me, the right amount of rest, the right diet, and the right amount of exercise makes me feel my best. Okay, I need to exercise more. That's just a, a kind of a personal thought. I thought I'd share with you. Um. Someday you'll understand when you're like me and need to exercise more. Okay, we're reading now. There was a great deal of fussing to be done before Mr. Summers declared the lottery open. There were the lists to make up of heads of families, heads of households in each family, members of each household in each family. There was the proper swearing in of Mr. Summers by the postmaster as the official of the lottery. At one time, some people remembered there had been a recital of some sort performed by the official of the lottery. 
a per perfunctory, tuneless chant that had been rattled off duly each year. Some people believe that the official of the lottery used to stand just so when he said or sang it, others believe that he was supposed to walk among the people. But years and years ago, this part of the ritual had been allowed to lapse. There had been also a ritual salute, which the official of the lottery had had to use in addressing each person who came up to draw from the box. But this also had changed with time. Until now, it was felt necessary only for the official to speak to each person approaching. Mr. Summers was very good at all this. In his clean white shirt and blue jeans, with one hand resting carelessly on the black box, he seemed very proper and important as he talked interminably to Mr. Graves and the Martins. Okay, so swearing in is an official ceremony where a person takes an oath, okay? A recital is a pu public performance, okay? And then performed means that done, executed, or carried through to completion, okay? I think you guys know those pretty well. All right, so now before we read this, let's take a look. What do readers learn about the lottery in this part of the story? Okay, so we're going to be looking for that. How do words and phrases in paragraph 7, which is the back page, paragraph 7, this big page right here, how do words and phrases in paragraph 7 support the idea that doing things correctly is an important part of the lottery? Words and phrases like blank, okay, so... So words and phrases that, the, phrases that they use to support the idea that doing things correctly is an important part of the lottery. In paragraph 7, Mr. Summers' hand rests carelessly on the black box. Why might this word be surprising? Carelessly is a surprising word because, well, to me, careless means that they're like, you know, like in basketball, if you're careless with the basketball, you're going to turn it over right? You're going to throw it out of bounds. You're going to dribble it off your toe, something like that. Okay, so it's weird to me that they, they say how official he is, but that he carelessly puts his hand on the box. You know, if he's careless about it, maybe he'll knock the box over, or maybe it shows that he doesn't really care. So that's kind of what was surprising to me. Okay, so you guys will fill these in. Okay, back to reading here. Just as Mr. Summers finally left off talking and turned, the assembled, turned to the assembled villagers, Mrs. Hutchinson came hurriedly along the path to the square, her sweater thrown over her shoulders, and slid into place in the back of the crowd. Clean forget what day it was, she said to Mrs. Delacroix, who stood next to her, and they both laughed softly. So she forgot what day that it even was. She didn't even know that it was, was the, uh, the ceremony. I thought my old man was out back stacking wood, Miss Hutchinson went on. And then I looked out the window and the kids was gone. And then I remembered it was the 27th and came a-running. She dried her hands on her apron. And Mrs. Delacroix said, you're in time, though. You're still, t you're still talking away up there. They're still talking away up there. Mrs. Hutchinson craned her neck to see through the crowd and found her husband and children standing near the front. She tapped Mrs. Delacroix on the arm as a farewell and began to make her way through the crowd. The people separated good-humoredly to let her through. Two or three people said, in voices just loud enough to be heard across the crowd, Here comes your Mrs. Hutchinson, said and Bill. She, she made it after all. Mrs. Hutchinson reached her husband, and Mr. Summers, who had been waiting, said cheerfully, Thought we were going to have to get on without you, Tessie. Mrs. Hutchinson said, grinning, wouldn't have, me le wouldn't have me leave my dishes in the sink now, would you, Joe? And soft laughter ran through the crowd as the people stirred back into position after Mrs. Hutchinson's arrival. My question is, what is this lottery? Okay, what, what is in the name? Or what is in this black box? Um, that's what I find interesting. I don't know this story, uh, but I'm, I'm curious. what Because they don't seem... To me, they don't seem very nervous. I mean, why would she show up late if she was really nervous about it, right? So, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm not sure what this, what this lottery is. We know the lottery in the Hunger Games. We know what that is. 
um, and and they're all they all seem very nervous but we don't know what this lottery is so all right I'm gonna end the video there it'll be uploaded to canvas um, first day of the third trimester canvas and uh, we'll go from there thank you guys